Hey beautiful people, welcome back to our channel. You're here with me, Sarit and Stevie K. This is not gonna help. This is not it never help. helps. It never no. helps because we haven't eaten and we always end up doing this. But I, I looked at the picture and uh, it's that been like and I just, donuts. I don't know, but get there. What we're doing, we're watching why South Indian street food de uh, destroys. <laughs> Can I do that? Why South Indian street food destroys North Indian street food? North Indian food, but yeah, exactly. Okay, let me that. Uh, We're watching why South Indian street food destroys North Indian food. Yeah, it says the best ever food review. Food India now with, with Sunny Side. So uh, he's got. I'm guessing he's got another brand new channel. This is a new channel that he's just doing for this India. Just wanging it out. This is where. But you guys are seeing. We've done lots of videos from his channel. His best ever food review show. Uh, if you haven't guys check that out do check it out uh, he's very good he's, yeah. uh, but now it seems like yeah he's created a channel am I right or is this like someone else who's just done it separately I'm guessing it's got to be his it's got to be in it I'm um, looking at the bloody thumbnail all I can think of is you know those stands the donut stands where you can get the warm ones whilst they make them right there in front of your belly I okay. need them with a the cup of tea I know that's not Indian food but they look like donuts and I'm thinking of donuts Ugh. guys if you're new to our channel, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and do let us know is there any other food review or food videos that you guys, either from Sunnyside or, you know, Best Ever Food Review Show, or any other people that you think is good, be interesting, nice for us to see. Uh, yeah, different kinds of food from India, be quite good. Or anything, like I said, from there, and we'll check it out. But now, hear us, not that we, don't we love Indian food? But you don't book it on there and can't under kida mucha pani ajana bandiana rona. But I just don't like the whole, yeah, like it says, like South Indian street for destroyed. But then again, yeah, let's just see kia kia fark. Here we go. In this video, I'll be showing you five reasons why South Indian food absolutely destroys North Indian food. But first, let's back up. Jenna. For those of you not living in India, you may be surprised to know that North Indian food is quite different from South Indian food. What? South Indian food is considered to be one of the most well-recognized cuisines around the world. Mm. Renowned for its crispy dosas, coconut-infused curries, and an abundance of rice-based dishes. It's coming under the giant rice cooker that would make any Asian lady in Korea jealous. But how have these flavors shaped the cuisine in Chennai, the capital of Tamil Nadu, in the southernmost Tamil state Nadu. of India? Well, today, we're gonna find out. From a pancake bursting with savory curry goodness, challenging the best of any Waffle House menu. Ooh. Iconic dish here. All the way to a biryani factory, churning out 15,000 pounds of rice every day. Wow. Every day, normally 5,000 to 7,000 kgs of biryani. Particularly in Sundays, we are making 10,000 to 4,000. So get ready, because we're taking a tour of the most iconic South Indian treasures from Chennai. <laughs> our journey with Chennai's favorite cheap breakfast dish, a donut that's stolen the hearts of Tamil Nadu's locals since its creation in 1951. Crispy on the outside, soft in the inside. Protein, service samba, coconut chutney. sweet. <laughs> Mm. Wow! Introducing Medu Vada. This famous South Indian breakfast is crafted using one of India's most highly prized and expensive legumes. The legume known as black gram, exclusively grown in the southern part of India. And also northern Bangladesh and Nepal. But that is it and it is very exclusive. Wow. To make this dish, start by blending the black gram soaked overnight into a thick batter. Next, add our seven spice ensemble. Black pepper, cumin, aromatic curry leaves, zesty green chilies, red onions, mm -hmm. a dash of salt, and a of pepper root. Mix everything well. Then take a blob of batter and with a little thumb magic, sculpt it into a donut shape before dropping it into the fryer. This trick ensures our donuts cook up evenly, giving you that perfect crunch from the outside to the inside. What do you think? What do you think? 
Huh? Once they are perfectly golden brown, mm. take them out and serve. Mm. Mm. Unlike its sugary cousin, this savory donut brings mm. over the heat. Mm. It's a flavor mm. journey, mm. a pilgrimage of pleasure, mm. where legumes okay. and spices collide into Stop a spicy it. tango, unleashing a pepper and curry explosion. Mm. And in the texture department, it's a tag team effort, a crispy coat embracing a fluffy cloud-like center. Fun fact, Madhu meets soft, mm. while bottom is a type of I Indian savory it. fritter. Mm. Oh, look how much it is as well. I wonder. Now, introducing an irresistible sweet sensation that steals the spotlight at every public holiday or wedding in Chennai. Get ready for a sugar rush, because this egg-based delight is not holding back. I'm not kidding. It packs a whopping 10 pounds of sugar. When will you guys believe me? This thing is going to be very, very sweet. Let's take a look. Mutai, 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 mutai means ake, Tamil me yet bolte hai. And mutai bolne ka matlab ki Urdu me jo bolte mutai, so mutai mutai, yek sweet bolte hai. Mutai mutai. Wo taste bolta chala gaya mujhe. Baad me khane khane me mujhe dil me laga ki ye business kyun karu. Baad me ye concept utha ke me business chalu kia. Uska naam jo hai Salim Sweets. Behold the Mutta Mitai. This recipe emerged just over six decades ago, casting a spell wow. on the taste buds of Tamil Nadu ever since. Now it's the star dessert at almost every local event. Yeah. First things first, crack a couple dozen eggs into a bowl. Yes, I said dozen. Many dozens. Many dozens. Next, the koya. It's a thick dairy ingredient, somewhat similar to dry ricotta cheese, made from dried whole milk or oh. whole milk thickened on an iron pan. Oh. Carefully fold that into the egg. Follow that with all the sugar you can find at Indian Costco. Here, it was more than 10 <laughs> All the sugar you can find. <laughs> Folding, add the magical ingredient. No, not more sugar. I'm talking about ghee, also known as clarified butter. Now place it over a gas stove and using a hand blender, mix everything well until it gains a custard like texture. Quite processed, I it. Huh? For the final step, glaze up a tray with a bit of ghee and pour in our eggy mixture. Bake everything for six hours and serve. Six hours? Mm -hmm. It probably has to be at the right temperature. Imagine a smoky, creamy egg custard with a seriously sugary kick. Blame it on the ghee or the irresponsible volume of sugar. But despite its simplicity, this treat is bursting with rich, intricate flavors. I That'll leave you craving it. for more. Why is he oh, he didn't have want it. Him to try them. I don't want his opinion. Chennai, a massive coastal hotspot in India. It boasts a cuisine that's this heavily he influenced by its oceanic surroundings. Down. Seafood reigns supreme here, served up in countless delicious ways. <laughs> but the seafood that's topping the charts, the legendary fish fry. Seriously, fish it's fry. everywhere. <laughs> to the palm frit fish fry, known locally as Baval Min Barubal. This spicy, shallow fried delight has that magical power to turn everyone into a die-hard seafood enthusiast. Even that one cousin with a seafood allergy would give it all up to try this. Mm -hmm. You'll see why as we get to the cooking lady's secret steps. Wow. See, I'm not a fish person, but that does look good. First, she carefully washes the pumphrit fish, then scores its entire Bad body man. using the traditional boti knife. Next up, the spice game begins. She adds salt, turmeric powder, red chili powder, and fenugreek powder. You probably thought she was done, but you thought wrong. After a few splashes of water, she adds a blend of ginger, turmeric, and fish masala. Mix it up for those flavors to mingle and work their magic. Finally, it's frying time. 15 to 20 minutes till it's crispy to the bone. Wow. This dish, it's the epitome of comfort food in Tamil Nadu. The pomfret mm. fish, white, wow. flaky, and oh so tender. After a solid 20 minutes Looks in that nice. oil, it's crispy on the outside no, no. and fall off the bone soft like, on the like inside. Chicken, Simple like, take yet it delicious. Off. And now, your cousin with a seafood allergy is dead. Mmm. And he's putting the prices there. Three dollars. 
Get ready to dive into the ultimate dosa experience. We're talking a dosa stuffed to the brim with juicy you mutton curry, an egg surprise, and all of it topped with even more spiced drenched mutton. This, my friends, could very like well be the mm. heavyweight champion mm. of meaty dosas. Kumakal Konarka Days is a restaurant which is originated in Madurai in a place called Kumakal around 1943. After uh, 20 years of time, 1963 around, Hari Dosa specific dish has been invented. It is invented by Mr. Manikam Konar. His father, Mr. Sundram Konar, founded Hari uh, Konarka Day. And so from then, uh, almost 8 years it has been uh, here. From that time, uh, it, uh, it has started the story of Hari Dosa. Wow. Let's dive into Chennai's culinary wonders, dosas and curries. But why settle for one or the other when there's a dish that masters both? Meet the mutton curry dosa, one of the city's most magical food creations. Step one, spread that dosa batter on the hot tawa. Step two, top it with a dose of rich mutton brain gravy. Step three, crack an egg right on top and mix it all together to create a fatal 15 car pile up of flavor in your mouth. Step four, enter the star ingredient, mutton suka. If it came from a cow, we would call it brisket. Suka. But this is yeah. intensely seasoned chest meat that's been cooked low and slow. Flip it, let that meat caramelize, and you've got yourself a dosa fit for royalty. Whoa, and some sauces on the side with it. This dish is experienced in layers. Mm. First, a crispy, nearly violently seasoned mutton meat kicking off the flavor parade, followed by a creamy curry mixed with egg at the heart of it all. And to seal the deal, the final layer of warm, slightly crispy dosa batter that ties everything together. Different? I haven't seen anything like it. Before we put an end to this onslaught of South India's culinary excellence, let's shine a spotlight on the ingredient reigning supreme, not just here, but across all of India. I'm talking about Video. rice, basmati yeah. rice, and if there's a dish that's the ultimate rice ambassador, it's biryani. For our final escapade, we're making a pit stop at a biryani factory, where they're churning out a mind-blowing 11 to 15,000 pounds of biryani each day. That's wow. almost enough biryani to feed your mom. <laughs> Because they only brought it to the Tamil customs by the wedding biryani. They know about the cooking timing and uh, dumb biryani. That is only the special thing. So Muslims are using mostly dumb biryani. That is a fine quality biryani compared with any other style. Dumb biryani is the most favorable for all mm -hmm. people. Our biryani is not so spicy compared with other biryanis. And uh, our biryani is easily digestible. Biryani is probably one of the first dishes that comes to mind when you mention Indian cuisine. But did you know there are over 70 different varieties of biryani? Here they make it in the dum style. And that is dum spelled D-U-M. This style originated from the Arabic Peninsula, and it's more similar to a plum than other classic biryanis. Instead of layering in the ingredients as usual, they mix everything together in a huge pot. Okay. Start by frying up red onions with ghee in a giant cauldron. Once they're golden, add ginger garlic paste and diced tomatoes. For seasoning, add salt, turmeric powder, and red chili powder. for the protein. Here, they like to wash the chicken thighs, season them with turmeric powder, then drop them in the main cauldron, followed by water and fresh coriander leaves. Finally, add the par-cooked rice and let it boil for another 45 minutes to complete the dish. When the cooking is finally complete and the lid is removed, you'll be greeted by something glorious. Despite its colossal production, this biryani is on a whole different level. Every mm. grain of rice is infused with those aromatic spices, making each bite an absolutely blissful experience. Chicken dum biryani, 3.3. So that's about £2.50. Now that we've gone through the most iconic dishes in Chennai, what? showing off the amazing variety South India has to offer, it's time for us to pick our favorite. Was it the crispy meduvada, the eggy mutton mentai, the flavor-packed mutton curry dosa, the legendary the fish fry, the or the mouth-watering biryani?
Today, the biryani stole the show for me. The mastery of crafting such delectable uh, food on a the grand scale and then serving thousands with, the with affordable, mm. high-quality dishes. Well, well, I'm that not saying that doesn't look good. That looks really good. Respect. I think it so depends on the time you? of the day. Which one of these tonight classics would you try for yourself? Let me know downstairs in the comments below. And for more indulgent feasts for your senses, be sure to subscribe to Best yeah. Ever Food yeah. India. Yeah. Thanks. Bye. Yeah. Thanks. But when am I supposed to? It's still upstairs. Okay, anyway, that was the video. Yeah, take, take you to the door, sir. Yeah, okay. That was that was donuts. I don't care. We ain't going to get those We, we should just we? go to that other place, you know, that the place that I went to. The no, 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 no. Where's that place that I went to recently? That place that I had all the pani puri and just couldn't stop eating. It was a buffet, but I didn't like anything else. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the pani puri was the worst. Just enjoyed the whole buffet of pizzas, this, that, and the other. And all I had was pani puri. I was thrilled. <laughs> I couldn't stop. Um, that was lovely. Obviously, Sweet said that she would like the uh, sort of like the donuty stuff. I'm, I'm saying that I look great. On I agree, but biryani just like yeah like i said it's time of day if that was like early then mm -hmm. i probably would go with that mm -hmm. i wouldn't eat that until no, later on in the day kind of thing mm -hmm. a bit more filling the other one it's just like the sauce and everything that you can mix it with and stuff so but anyway that was another video from the well i'm guessing his new channel do let us know what else to react to don't forget to like share subscribe and we'll see you on the next one take care see, see you soon you. Bye. bye